Yeah, as promised guys, I'll be discussing here another method in doing shift cipher and that is a way uh, or that is with the use of some computations. So yeah, we have here um, two algorithms. We have encryption rule when we um, encrypt something. This is the formula or algorithm. And if we are to decrypt, this is the formula that we are to use. Okay, so let's start with encryption rule first there. Encryption rule says that if we are to encrypt letter X, we just have to get the letter code of X and add whatever the shift value is. After getting the sum here, we just have to apply modulo 26. Now, for others who are not able to watch my modular arithmetic video, you may always um, review or rewatch the concepts there, guys. Just check on my playlist under coding. It's there, modular arithmetic, right? Okay, so before we go to encrypting part, let's have here first the letter codes of the English alphabet. We have here A has a letter code of 0, B is 1, C is 2, D is 3, and the rest here. So, for example, let's um, encrypt the word math. Here, let's, uh, let's have that here. Say we are to encrypt the word math and say our key is with key equals, say, 12. There. So let's have the solution here. Encrypting... M. Let's start with M. There. It says again, as I mentioned, if we are to encrypt M, we are to get the letter code of M. So the letter code of M there is 12. So this would be 12 plus the shift value. The shift value that we have here, which is given or decided at hand, we have 12 so that's 12 and the answer here is 24 and it was noted that whatever the, the sum is we are to apply uh, modulo 26 so what is 24 modulo 26 24 modulo 26 is still 24 there so therefore M becomes what letter here, 24 would be Y, there. So M, using key of 12, would become Y, there. Next, we are to encrypt this time letter A. And A has a letter code of 0. Then we are to add the shift key or shift value that we have which is 12 of course the answer there is 12 and applying modulo 26 the answer is still 12 there therefore a would become what letter that would be the letter that has the code or letter code 12 and that is yes letter m Next letter to encrypt would be T. And T has a letter code of 19, then plus the shift key, which is 12. That would be 31. There. Now 31 modulo 26. I hope you can still remember how to do that. That, um, that would be 5. I hope you're correct. Next would be, oh yeah, 5. So, therefore, T would become letter F. Yeah. Lastly, we are to encrypt H. 
H's code is 7 plus 12 would be 19. And 19 is congruent to still 19 modulo 26. There you go. So H would become the letter that owns 19 as its letter code would be T. There you go. So, therefore, math would now become what? Our cipher text now would become YMFT. So, that's YMFT. There you go. Now, how about decrypting this time? Meaning, oh, sige, let's have like knowing or what if the given cipher text would be YMFT, right? So, what if this time we have or we are to decrypt YMFT? And of course, when you are to decrypt, you have to use the same key, so the key should also be given when you are to decrypt. So the key there would be 12. Of course, if you are to use different key, then you cannot retrieve the original message there. So let's, let's check if we can retrieve the word math using the algorithm here or the decryption rule. Okay, so solution would be this. We are to decrypt letter Y and in our decryption rule here, it says that we need to get the letter code of this letter here and just have to subtract the shift key. So the letter code of Y is 24. So this is 24 to be subtracted by the shift value, which is 12 and that is 12. And of course, 12 is still congruent to 12 mod 26. Therefore, Y is actually letter M because the code or the mean the letter that owns 12 as its letter code is M. See, we can retrieve our message. So D or decrypting this time, letter M. So um, letter code of M is 12 minus our key, which is 12. The answer is zero. As discussed in modular arithmetic video, zero is still congruent to zero mod 26. And the letter that owns zero as its um, letter code is of course a you see we can really get the original message math let's finish this let's have d is it f yeah f there letter code of f is five minus the um the key 12 there but five minus 12 is a negative number and that is negative 7. As noted or dis as discussed in modular arithmetic, negative 7 modulo 26. If we have that, we just have to add 26 to negative 7 until we find the first positive number. So negative 7 plus 26, that's 19. Won't believe me? <laughs> okay, let's double check. So, um, that's negative 7 plus 26. There you go. The answer is 19. All right. So, let's have that one here. Last, ah, uh, yeah. So, F is actually letter T. And lastly, T this time. There, our last letter. Um, T 
20 letter code is 19 yes minus 12 is 7 and 7 is still congruent to 7 mod 26 and that letter is h there you go so yeah so um y m f t is actually equivalent i'm sorry is equivalent to um math with key 12. there you go so i must practice you may definitely try julius caesar the one that we have in the other video try this time um computation uh, computations method or, cal or calculations method in julius caesar and double check if we are to get the same answer here okay all right see you in my next videos guys my next videos would be um, other crypto systems that would be affine cipher and original cipher. Thank you.